Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the tarot cards and laid them out. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. So let's begin. The very first card that I'm looking at is representing your energy. This energy is giving me an indication of a lot of you thinking about the person that you're dealing with. It feels as if this relationship that you have with this individual has a very powerful sort of connection. It feels like there's something magical about it, okay? I'm sensing as well that this connection that you share with this individual is a little bit extraordinary because it's definitely something that stands out for you. It's something that you may not have experienced before. I'm sensing from the energies, you know, there's something that has provided with you, you know, a sense of comfort in terms of this individual's presence in your life. It feels as if the two of you may have been comforting each other, providing each other with a sense of satisfaction and happiness in life. So I feel like this relationship is one that can really nourish the soul and provide you with a lot of happiness. What I'm also picking up is that many of you have been waiting on this individual to come through for you for something. It feels as if there's an element of expectation from this individual. Perhaps you want them to reach out. You want them to take initiative. You want them to do something. You might have been waiting for this individual to make the first move, okay? I'm definitely getting a very heavy indication from your energy that you've been waiting for this individual to make a move. You may have drawn a line in the ground. And I feel like during this time, you know, there's an element of passivity that is occurring in this relationship. I feel like you're the one waiting for this individual to do something. And you're also so, you know, going through a process of thinking about this individual a great deal. I feel like a lot of you are having a lot of deep thoughts right now. There's this energy of where you're processing the situation, you're trying to understand it on a deeper level, you're trying to make sense of it. So that in itself is a very exciting sort of energy because it means that you're looking at, um, you know, just basically the process of enlightenment, thinking about it, trying to figure it out, trying to ruminate over it. Now, I feel like in terms of this relationship, there's also an indication here that this love between you and this individual is one that provides you with a lot of uh, joy, okay? I feel like in your life, in the course of your life, you've had certain experiences that have shaped you into the person that you are. I feel like a lot of you are well-rounded, very strong as individuals, you know, nobody can really come into your life and bully you or try to take advantage of you. You have this very strong nature inside of you. And I feel like when this individual showed up, they revealed aspects of your personality that you may have uh, not been completely aware of. There's certain things you realized about yourself as a result of having this experience with this individual. I'm sensing from your energy right now that there was a deep discovery of what love is and a satisfaction in it. There's a sense of feeling as if you have it all. You have the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with. You know, you feel good on the inside. Spending time with this individual really felt good. That's what I'm picking up from your energy. These are the energies resonating with your energy during this time. So it feels as if there's a lot of feel-good emotion. There's a lot of um, wishful and hopeful thinking during this time that this individual will come through and uh, bring you some sort of uh, beautiful proposal or take the initiation in doing something. That's what I'm picking up from your energy. There's an element of expectation right now. Now, if I was to look at the energies connecting the two of you, I do pick up that there's an element here of restrictions. It feels as if someone feels tied to a situation. I feel like there's... Um, an energy of where both you and this individual have a deep fascination with each other, but right now things are stuck, okay? And I'm sensing that someone in this situation is avoiding their emotions. I feel like whatever went down between the two of you caused a sense of loss, caused a sense of uh, isolation, okay? 
I feel like the two of you have been going through this difficulty for some time. It doesn't feel as if it was short. It feels as if it has been ongoing. Okay. Now, what I'm also picking up from these uh, energies that connect the two of you is that usually the two of you have the ability to overcome these difficulties, overcome these elements that have been tearing at the relationship. Usually the two of you go through it together. But during this particular time, I feel like there's a sense of isolation and I feel like there's certain factors that have been keeping the two of you apart. So this has been putting a lot of strain on the essential unity of the relationship and I do feel like you know there's also this underlying energy of where you're expecting this individual to come through for you expecting this individual to make things right but at the same time I feel like there's a combined energy of where you know one individual could be you know one individual could be playing the role of a victim okay I feel like there's a lot of reflections, there's a lot of uh, solitude between the two of you. I feel like a lot of you are hoping that this individual will come through and do something. I feel like as well there's this energy of where the two of you could be experiencing a sensation of feeling like everything is just, you know, boring during this time. There's an element of um, not feeling satisfied with life as a whole. That's because uh, the two of you are absent from each other's life during this time. And naturally, this is the type of thing that would occur when two people are very intrinsically connected to each other. And, uh, you know, the absence from each other's life right now is causing a lot of uh, sadness. Okay. So when I look at this individual's energy, what I'm sensing here is that this person, for some reason, has emotional obstacles because they see here there's opportunities for change but this individual's emotions are not uh, being revealed during this time i feel like you know the two of you may have had a very heated argument and there's certain things this individual may have said or done this could have occurred during a particular part of the relationship or it could be the last conversation you shared with this individual but i'm also picking up that um, there's an element of immaturity that is definitely coming across very strongly you know it feels as if things didn't have to get to that point. Things didn't have to uh, become so difficult in respect of the relationship. And when it did, it feels as if a lot of it may have been very unnecessary. Okay. Now, I'm sensing that as a result of this difficulty that the two of you had, your person has withdrawn. Okay. I feel like there's some element of where this individual became very stiff when it comes to their emotions. And I'm also picking up that they started to be... Um, difficult it feels as if they pulled away their their love their emotions and uh, instead of being more open-hearted i feel like this individual became more close-hearted and so you notice this shift and i feel like there's an element here of which you're hoping for this individual to come back and uh, this individual hasn't uh, released this energy of um you know it's either connected to just being upset or what was said and done, it feels like that energy there that has taken a hold of this individual and it has been dictating the course of the relationship in a certain way, right? So that I feel has been affecting your relationship to a very large extent, okay? Now, what I'm also picking up is that some of you are very much aware of the fact that this individual, you know, they suppress a lot of the emotions. It feels as if this individual tries to keep a very calm demeanor. But I also pick up from the energy that um, there's a lot of things they don't show you. There's a lot of things that are covered in smoke and mirrors. So whenever you try to get close to them or whenever you try to make things work in terms of the situation, you always feel as if their emotions are cloaked and you can never really reach them in the way that you had hoped for. And this presents a very, you know, difficult set of circumstances. It is very complex. It is something that uh, needs to be addressed in terms of this relationship. So let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'll be exploring the balance of these energies in greater detail.
I'm picking up one key word, and that feels as if this individual is experiencing a sense of diminishment, okay? So that word is a very unusual word. Diminish is to reduce, it is to uh, take away in some shape or form. It's like they feel as if they can't um, truly open up in an honest way and you may have been waiting for them to do so. There's um, a difficulty in trying to resolve the problems at hand and many of these uh, difficulties are actually you know, getting derived from the fact that one individual has uh, this sort of approach where you know, it feels like it's very much connected to one individual losing, a, you know, lacking actually, lacking a filter or... It feels like there's an element of devastation because I'm really, you know, tuning into the energies right now and what I'm sensing is that there were certain things that were done in the course of the relationship that may not have been done. There's certain things that should have been handled very differently. That's what Spirit is telling me right now. And it feels as if one individual is taking an approach that is a little bit aggressive in this situation, okay? And so that has upset the balance in this relationship. It has caused the two of you to sort of drift apart instead of coming together, okay? And these are very... Uh, minutia kind of energies it's very finite it's very subtle it's the uh, threads that connect the relationship and it's so fine like you wouldn't see it unless you really pay attention to it so I feel like these are connecting the two of you right now but still causing blockages in your energy and in their energy and here you have this expectation of this individual coming forward and uh, making things happen instead this individual is taking a passive approach and um, not really doing anything to fulfill that expectation that you have of them, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I know it's very complex. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual. I'm also going to be looking at the right way to move forward and addressing some of the blockages and difficulties that have been creeping up into your relationship and causing stagnation. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.